So hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from uh, Tech Fancies. So I, first of all, before starting the video, I have to say apologies or something. So this has been a month uh, since we have last posted the uh, Realme Pad uh, video and Nail was continuously providing the update and I was unable to cover it due to, uh, due to some uh, personal uh, uh, celebration and functions and i was not even in the studio so now i'm back and i started digging up the things so there are uh, two updates uh, that we have uh, for realme pad so just uh, get into the computer so uh, the first one is sorry actually a uh, three update so first one is uh, we have the uh, uh, arrow is 13 but we already have the arrow is 13 this is the arrow is 13 uh, but uh, this one whichever we have uh, in this one is it's official one so if you click here it will directly navigate you to the <coughs> arrow os uh, website so from here you can download it so nail made it as official and he is maintaining it so uh, chances of getting monthly update is uh, mostly about 95 or something so you have the G apps version and vanilla one and the last update is uh, November uh, 14th some 16 days back so this one I have already downloaded it and I have it here and along with its uh, recovery so if any OT update comes in the future we can uh, check whether that is properly working or not and the second update that we have is uh, the lineage OS so yeah he also made the lineage OS uh, and um <clears throat> this lineage OS supports on uh, both a9 and a10 and he gave two updates so i down i believe i downloaded this one but uh, this one we will check it in another video first we will try the arrow os whether it's working fine or not and then the third update is we got the a10 update so we had a9 but now we have a10 so that one also we will try to revert back to the realme os and the realme ui, UI real ui or something and then we'll try that thing now i have the uh, instructions here the, pro the instructions are same like earlier and in official site we have uh, arrow os so here i'm using the unofficial build and there are experiments but that i am not uh, gonna use it so we have experiment built for 26th but i'm just going with the official one so now um, in the official i have downloaded the g apps and in here so instead here i have the uh, both the recovery and the os so in my tablet first what i do is i did already back up all the things so i know it is already a uh, little delayed but why i am installing it to just to find whether this uh, one uh, we can directly install without formatting any data or not okay so uh, this one is currently running with the um, unofficial arrow os uh, which is the september 5th so this one is the november one so what i'm gonna do is um i already enabled the advanced reboot so here you can go and if i type advanced we have the advanced restart option so i already have enabled it so the second thing is i just need to find whether if i can uh, update it through this uh, manually uh, so what i am going to do i'll go system and android 13 and where i can find the update um, okay here i have the system update but inside that we don't have the update option so i don't know how i'm going to update it also this one already have the uh, arrow voice recovery i believe so i'm just clicking restart and recovery so we'll check whether this one has the arrow voice recovery this one has a twrp and the storage is fully uh, this one so i will try to do the um, side load but it mostly won't work because uh, this uh, storage is fully encrypted and uh, this one doesn't support any decryption or something so i'll go to uh, and then the adb side load and then i'll just uh, swipe to start and here i need to here this both are um, showing mounting failed option but however i'm just trying whether it is working or not okay in the pc i'll just uh, open the adb tool 
I have it in the archive um, realme pad um, and then the bootloader so here I have the platform tools so here I will open CMD okay so now here I have the CMD so what I'm going to do is ADB uh, devices sorry ADB devices so it is attached to showing side load so adb side load and then i will drag and drop that os so where is that it is in here so i'll just drag and drop this os and click enter this one uh, started installing the thing so we'll try we'll hope whether it, it works fine if it is not working, uh, we'll do the clean flash. Uh, what I do, I'll format the data and then I will uh, uh, side load the things. Also, I will try to flash this error OS recovery so that uh, when next time uh, the OT update comes, we will be able to do the OT update. So it is almost full 47 percentage so it's showing failed to read the command uh, i believe uh, this was successfully uh, installed so this is like a uh, uh, how would i say this is like a, a, a dirty flash but uh, both are arrow os so it should work uh, so i'm just rebooting to the system now we'll see uh, which version is booting earlier we were having the september one uh, so now it should have the november uh, security patch and the official version of uh, arrow os so it is booting perfectly so which means uh, uh, the latest version has installed okay it is booting fine so that is great sign in my opinion so i'll just remove this one and now i'll go inside this so if you want to see the review of this uh, whichever i earlier had i already uploaded a video in the channel and i will just uh, leave it in the cards so here you can see that it is showing uh, finalizing the update finalizing the update so I'll just go here inside and realme tab and it is in uh, yeah so currently it is in uh, it is a uh, November 4th update and the kernel version is 4.122 realme pad and this is the official one so uh, we have fine uh, we have successfully dt flashed this one and it is working and I'll also go here and here we have the uh, updater earlier you were not able to see it but now it is uh, present so i will just check if there is any update and the current build is uh, september 14 and let me check it if there is any ot update so there is no update found so uh, another thing is um, i will just check whether all the things are working fine um, camera so here we have the camera go and it's working and yeah that's pretty much of the things that we need uh, that we require in order to do the things so uh, now in order to proceed with the further uh, error os update we may need the error os uh, recovery which i already have it in the system so we will try to do that all as well in the video so first what I'm going to do here it, it still supports the 
advanced restart uh, so and uh, so i will just uh, reboot to the <coughs> bootloader and from here i will connect to my system okay and here it should show the fast boot devices or else it, if it is not detecting it's again a uh, issue it is not detecting so i have to open the device manager and in that there is one un un unallocated device so i need to scan for hardware changes um update driver uh, browse in my computer let me choose uh, google uh, it is a uh, this one adb bootloader yes and now it is uh, detecting it should detect so i will go here and check it yes now the device is there but uh, if your device is still not showing just close it or restart one or two times it should work so now from here i just need a tutorial on how to do this so i already know but still uh, uh, recovery for this one okay so you need to do fast boot disable dm variety flash this one and fast boot flash recovery and path to the recovery so this command first i will mention so what i need to mention i'll go here i click this one and enter so now the vm data is uh, done that part and now i'll just copy this one and i'll go here and flash it it is it won't work because fast boot uh, flash uh, recovery and then i need to uh, drag and drop that file so uh, even i recently have downloaded the vb data so here i have it and inside lineage i have the vb data so this one i will uh, flash it because i not sure whether that vb data is correct so uh, vb data and then the uh, vb data image i will drag and drop and click enter so this is correct and then the password flash and uh, this path i will remove it and with space i will just uh, have to drag and drop the or uh, ros recovery and then hit enter so the recovery start fat, uh, started uh, flashing so now uh, what i can do is uh, fast boot uh, reboot um, recovery should work i don't know we'll try it okay so we have successfully also installed the recovery so next time when you download the patch or update uh, you can it will do the updating process so if you want to fix with the arrow os uh, this is the a uh, way to do it and next time the future update it comes the ota it comes i will try to cover it in the video also i will test this uh, os for next uh, few more days and try to make a review of it so yeah that's what about the arrow os official and this is great uh, it's a really big deal that uh, we are able to do some changes in this uh, realme pad community so second thing important uh, is uh, joining our telegram group so we are running a telegram group it's not running the servers are running uh, but uh, what we are doing uh, the we are collecting people with similar mind like you and me i am already there but i don't know whether you are there or not so just join in our telegram group the link is in the description of this video so yeah code matter